Rise and shine, ladies! My name is Senior Drill Instructor Dwight T. Barnes. The first and last words I want to hear out of your stinking holes is, Sir, do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir! Okay, go seven. Proceed to sector one. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sweet Viber. There's been a lot of hype about the Half-Life virtual reality mod lately, and I'm so happy that this got the publicity I was hoping for. And well, guys, I have some great news for you today because I have found out by fiddling with some files how to get those two expansions for the original Half-Life game to work in virtual reality. The two expansion packs for the original Half-Life game that are actually kind of full games with many gameplay hours are called Half-Life Opposing Force and Half-Life Blue Shift. Besides that, there is actually a new modified version of this Half-Life Virtual Reality mod made by the same team that are working on the Half-Life 2 Virtual Reality mod coming later this year. Or well, I hope so at least. Anyway, they have modified the mod and improved it in a lot of the ways. They have added better touchpad support so we can move around without pushing the touchpad forward, backward to the sides and that also means that all the Oculus Rift owners playing with the Oculus Touch controllers can now play this game without pushing down the thumbstick. So it's so much easier to play now on both HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. So you can play the original Half-Life game with this latest modified version of the VR mod or you can actually also play it with the last one that I was showing you in my last gameplay video. If you haven't seen my previous Half-Life video, you really should check it out because I'm showing you that the game actually works in virtual reality very well. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna talk a little bit shortly about those two add-ons or two expansion packs for the Half-Life and I'm gonna show you some gameplay of it a little bit shortly only and after that I'm gonna go through the installation process here in this video how you get it to work both Half-Life Opposing Force and Half-Life Blue Shift. So well before we do that I would like to just ask you please guys subscribe to Sweet Viber there's gonna be so much more content coming up very soon I have some other cool virtual reality mods coming up on my channel and also a lot of gameplays on the regular virtual reality games as you may have known I'm also gonna have a Pimax 8k in a couple of months so I'm gonna probably do a lot of reviews a lot of testing and a lot of gameplays with the Pimax 8k as well so stay tuned guys I know my channel is a little bit slow right now not many videos coming out but it's gonna get much better soon so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like on that video on this video if you enjoy this capture my suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to drill instructor sharp ASAP Half-Life Opposing Force is the first expansion pack made for the original Half-Life game with the first engine. It's developed by the Gearbox software and released by Valve Software back in 1999. The expansion is a single player and a multiplayer, but remember guys, you cannot play this mod in multiplayer because there is a risk that you may be VAC banned on Steam. So forget about multiplayer. With this virtual reality mod, just play this game in single player. Don't even start a multiplayer game because there is a risk you could actually get banned on Steam and that's some quite serious stuff. Anyway, the expansion is a single player mode mainly and it features the same settings as the original Half-Life game with the twist that the player is not anymore Gordon Freeman. So we're not playing as the Gordon Freeman, but we're playing as the Corporal Adrian Shepard, a US Marine that is sent to the Black Mesa Research Facility on an undisclosed mission, but things go wrong as you may have known from the original game and he finds himself fighting for survival against government agents aliens and mysterious race X. So anyway, 
there are some graphical glitches while playing opposing force in virtual reality. I have found some glitches and one of them is that the sky is not blue. There are no clouds, the sky is not blue, it's just black. I don't know if there are some textures missing, if there's something about me doing it wrong by applying this virtual reality mod, but the sky when we are outside is black. So, well, it's not affecting the gameplay itself, but it doesn't look so perfect as it maybe should. Also, there are some other glitches, like sometimes you may accidentally go through walls and sometimes I had some trouble going or climbing up ladders, but still, all in all, this game or this expansion pack for the original Half-Life game is fully playable just like the Half-Life original game with the latest virtual reality mod. So you may think that this is only a DLC or an expansion pack, but guys, the average playtime on this expansion pack is above six hours. So it is like a full game itself. The Opposing Force is available on Steam for only $5 or 5 euro. You can grab it there, but remember that you need the original Half-Life game to actually play the Opposing Force. So if you haven't got the expansion pack yet, grab the Opposing Force from Steam. It's just 5 bucks or 5 euro and you're gonna have at least 4 to 6 hours of fun gameplay in virtual reality. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. Half-Life Blue Ship is the second standalone expansive pack for the Half-Life, also developed by the Gearbox software, and it was released back in June 2001. As the first expansion, Opposing Force, this game has the same setting and timeline of the original story of the original Half-Life game, but with a different playing character. Because this time we are playing as the Black Mesa Research Facility security guard called Barney Colholm. Just like before, we are trying to escape the alien invasion in the Black Mesa research facility, but this time we have some new opponents, we have new weapons and a new storyline. So Blue Shift is available on Steam also for only $5 or 5 euro and you can grab it, but remember that you need the original Half-Life game from Steam as well to be able to play the Blue Shift add-on. So I have not been playing the Blue Shift for a long time. I just tried it for maybe 20 minutes and so far so good. It seems to work very nice. We're still using the same controls. Everything with the virtual reality mod is working exactly as with the original Half-Life game. I have not encountered any big issues except some small or minor graphical issues just like with the opposing force the sky is black and occasionally you could actually hit some walls and get stuck to walls also some troubles by climbing ladders but still i'm pretty sure that you actually can complete the game fully in virtual reality with the latest mod without any big issues. I cannot promise you that guys for 100% but I think to 99% you could probably play the full game without any big issues in virtual reality on both HTC Vive and Oculus Rift now thanks to the new version or modified version of the VR mod that has some great improvements for the Oculus Touch controllers. So guys, let's go through the process of the installation of the virtual reality mod for the original Half-Life game and also for the two expansion packs, Blue Shift and Opposing Force. As you can see, I have them all three installed on Steam and that's necessary and of course you need the original Half-Life game to get this to work. Anyway, we're gonna jump into the Reddit post. I'm gonna give you the link to this post in the video description down below and as you can see if you scroll down you're gonna find the download link let's just jump into it and download the half-life running fix 2.zip so the mod is now downloaded and we're gonna jump into the zip file as you can see there is a folder called source that is the source code for the actual mod and we're not gonna use that at all so just forget about this folder what we are gonna use is the VR folder we're gonna use the opengl 32dll file and also start.bat file I'm holding the control key by the way to highlight 
and select those three files. So let's jump into the Half-Life game installation directory. As you can see, I have installed Half-Life on my D drive. So it's working both on C drive, D drive or whatever drive as long as it's installed through Steam. So it's inside of the Steam library, Steam apps, Common and Half-Life. And as you can see, we have the blue shift and the opposing force folders installed already. This is actually the opposing force. It says Gearbox. I don't know why it says so, but still it is the, the first expansion pack opposing force. And this is the blue shift expansion pack. So what we're going to do, first of all, to start off the main game in virtual reality is to copy over those three files just like that copy them over and there we are. Next step, a very, very important step is that we actually need to make this file read only. So it's right protected, so it cannot be deleted. If you don't do this, Steam is going to delete the file right away when you start a game because this is a modified DLL file. So let's go into properties. I'm sorry I have my windows in Swedish, but anyway, hope you understand it. Go into properties, select the read only and apply and OK. And now the OpenGL32.dll file is actually protected. So it's not going to get, well, deleted by Steam. There's another very important thing that I just realized actually. Uh, to get this thing to work without getting a client.dll error, you actually need to go into the VR folder of the zip file and copy over the OpenVR underscore api.dll file and copy it over also to the Half-Life main game directory. So it's just below the opengl32.dll. Otherwise you may get an error. And as far as I know, I will also make this read only just in case of. So both files, both DLL files that we have added in the main installation of Half-Life are now read only. So what we're going to do now is to start off the Half-Life game and we could do that with the start.bat file. That's the file we're starting off the game. We're not using the hl.exe or any launcher and so we're using this file. So I'm going to first do a shortcut to my desktop just for ease and I'm going to call it Half-Life like this. Oh, sorry for that. Just moved away and we're going to just start off the game. So as you can see, no error messages at all, just because we actually added this OpenVR file into the main Half-Life folder. So you don't have need to do any other tweaks. I've seen some people having problems with this, but this is now solved by this simple solution. Anyway, the game does not start in virtual reality right away. You end up in this console and main menu. You can close down the console if you want, like this. And we're going to just go into new game and we're going to do a training room just for an example. And I'm going to show you that the game now is in virtual reality. I have my HTC Vive on my head right now and I'm just moving it around. So you can see it's actually starting off in VR and I can see everything inside of my HTC Vive right now. I can of course not move because I'm sitting, oh well, I'm using the HTC Vive controller, I can of course move forward. And the game starts off by itself as well, if you just go with the easy, you're going to start off inside the train in the game, as you can see here. So well guys, this works, but I'm going to start the game off from the beginning again and show you that uh, expansion packs are actually not working right away. So if I go into change game here and I choose blue shift or opposing force, let's go with the blue shift and I'm going to start off the game. It's going to just restart the game and we have the blue shift background and everything. As you can see, if we go into a new game and uh, well, let's select just training room. It doesn't start in VR, it's starting off in the regular 2D way. I'm using my keyboard to control and this is not the right way. So let's exit the game like this. And what we're going to do now is to patch the actual expansion pack to work in virtual reality. It is, this is much more easier than you may expect. Guys, this is so ridiculously easy. I was fiddling around a lot with the files, but let me just show you. B shift is the directory of the blue shift, all right? Let's go into it. 
So we have a CL underscore DLLS folder and we have a DLLS folder in the blue shift folder, just like we have in the virtual reality mod. So, well, the only thing we actually need to do is go into CL DLLS folder. We have a client.dll file. That's the old one. That's the original one in the blue shift. But let's go into the VR modded. The ver this DLL is much bigger. It's almost one megabyte. This one is only 700 kilobytes. So what we're going to do is just copy it over and replace it. So we have the VR modified CL DLL file. So let's jump into it and that is, that is actually the only thing we need to do let's start off half-life again we're gonna go into change game we're gonna do into blue oh sorry blue shift let's change the game it's gonna start up we're gonna go new game and we're gonna go to the training room and play and as you can see the game is now in virtual reality in my headset i can move around with the vive controller and it just works so well oh well it's not easy to play this while sitting down and just watching on the screen but still as you can see it's working in virtual reality and the cool thing about this that it works the same way with the other half-life expansion pack the gearbox or well the half-life opposing force Go inside the gearbox directory go inside of the cl dlls folder copy over the client.dll file from the virtual reality mod inside of the cl underscore dlls file copy over this file and replace it it's like 600 uh, kilobytes from start we're gonna copy it over it so it's about one megabyte now so let's jump into the game again we're gonna start off the game once again and we are gonna change the game of course to opposing force like that it's going to take a few seconds to start off and now we are in the opposing force main menu as you can see over here so let's go with a new game training room and let's see what happens so there we go it's in virtual reality now and well it's not easy to make this capture right now because i'm sitting down and i'm having my head well it's kind of difficult to turn around but as you can see it's working in virtual reality so guys lastly i would like to say thank you so much for watching i really hope you get this to work because with the original half-life game with the opposing force add-on and also the blue shift we have more than 20 gameplay hours to look forward to and that is awesome also as a last thing i would like to warn you one more time do not play those games in multiplayer in virtual reality with this mod because you may be vac banned on steam because we, we are using some custom dlls that open gl32 dll file and we are actually making it read only so steam cannot delete it and if you start off a multiplayer game you could get banned and that's for life you can get your steam account banned so just use this games and play these games in single player mode and you're gonna be all right i've been playing this a lot now and i've not been banned so as long as you stay in single player everything is gonna be all right so anyway guys thank you so much for watching once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel a lot more cool stuff is coming up also virtual reality mods so take care for now have fun in virtual reality in half-life and see each other very soon again cheers guys